the very nature of how Wi-Fi uses a shared unbound medium, the air, should indicate that you're going to detect your neighbor's devices and they're going to detect yours, especially in an urban environment where several networks are around you all the time. These devices are called rogues. Rogue because they're not yours. There are different types of rogue devices, however. A rogue that's just neighboring is just that. It's your neighbor's access point and you expect your neighbors to have Wi-Fi. If you want to start detecting these and classifying them, you're going to need to enable background scanning and you're going to need to enable rogue AP detection. With rogue AP detection enabled, you should start seeing a list of devices that your APs have detected across your network. Some of these devices may be very far away and have a very weak signal strength. You can configure the system to ignore those devices to make your job easier. That way you don't have to manually classify them as known or ignored devices. Devices that are detected with a stronger signal strength, you'll need to classify those as neighboring devices or known devices so that you're not always getting alarms from them. Devices that are not yours and on your network or not yours and running some type of attack are malicious rogues. When you detect a malicious rogue, you're either under attack or have the potential to be under attack, or there is an unauthorized device connected to your network creating a security breach. If it's a device that's on your network creating a security breach, you can enable proactive protection measures to automatically protect your network. To do that, the AP that detects the rogue device with the greatest signal strength will become a mitigator AP. And that mitigator AP will clone the MAC address of that rogue AP and send deauthentication and disassociation frames to all of its connected stations. That way your network is protected. However, you need to be careful enabling this. It may not be legal in all regions. So check to make sure that this type of proactive protection is legal within your region before you enable it. While the AP is acting as a mitigator, it's not servicing clients. So the AP will periodically stop mitigation, service clients, and go back to mitigating. Eventually, you'll need to physically locate this malicious rogue in your network and physically remove it.